Hello, so you might have noticed that in the friction video I made, it says that bricks have higher friction than rusted metal. And if you ever did a hill test like this, you notice that rusted metal wins against bricks. And bricks have 0.8 friction coefficient compared to 0.7 on rusted metal. And if you tried a hill test on ice, then sand wins against both bricks and rusted metal. And sand has the lowest friction compared to them, which is only 0.5. This is all because of friction weight, and it affects the friction coefficient between two different materials. You can think of it like this. Sand has 0.5 friction and a friction weight of 5 and ice has 0.02 friction and 3 friction weight. So the friction you get between those is like a ratio on this line, which is 3 to 5, and the friction between them is 0.32. Or just the more friction weight something has, the closer to that it's going to be. And rusted metal has way less. If the friction weights are the same, then it's just the average in between them. And here are all the values for friction weights. And for friction, because I made some mistakes in the previous video. So the best block for grip is rusted metal and not bricks. Because if you're only driving around the map, you will only drive on sand and grass, but still use old wheels or new wheels if you have enough space. New wheels have double the friction of old wheels, but old wheels have way more friction weight, 100 compared to only two, and they outperform them on icy surfaces, old wheels can climb 44 degrees, and new wheels only 39 degrees. Also, some people thought that adding more weight to your car will make it harder to climb hills, but weight does not matter at all, and only friction does. Thank you guys so much for watching.